This is Ian McFarlane, and this brief tutorial will walk you through adjusting your privacy settings uh, for your course blog. The first thing to do is to load WordPress. Uh, again, the default uh, loading landing page is going to be your reader. So let's go over here to my site. And then you need to scroll down, and the privacy settings are going to be down here in settings. So here's where in the general site you can uh, you know, change the title of your site, uh, you can change a tagline, uh, which is the, the little bit that will come up here uh, on the uh, tab. Uh, one thing I do want you to change uh, in your site uh, is the time zone. Uh, so change it to Eastern Time, which is uh, UTC minus five. Uh, you can also uh, come up here and change the uh, time zone to New York. Um, either way is fine. But in this general tab is where you will see uh, the public, hidden, or private. So public means that anyone can view it. Hidden is basically the same as public, but uh, it's going to try not to have it be searchable so you won't come up in Google. It's not a uh, guarantee that, but they uh, asked for search engines to comply. If you decide you want your blog to be private, then you're going to need to click this private button. So next we're going to go over to the discussion setting, uh, and we're going to go down and we're going to change here this uh, comment author must have a previously approved comment. We're going to turn that off. Uh, the reason being so that uh, when your classmates post uh, comments on your blog, they will show up immediately uh, and that they don't have to be held uh, for you to approve them. Um, I'll make a separate video that talks about dealing with um, rude comments that might get posted, um, which doesn't happen very often, um, but we will we'll have, have another video that goes through how to deal with uh, comments if any of them are uh, upsetting for you. Uh, after that, uh, there's other settings you can play with if you want, um, but that's the, the major component uh, that you need to take care of for this class. If you have any questions, uh, you can send me an email or drop by office hours and we'll make sure we get you taken care of.